name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Dear faithful in Christ, today we have the fifth Sunday after Easter, and it's the last Sunday before uh, Ascension. And our Lord Jesus Christ, He does everything to fortify to fortify the apostles because he knows now he is going back to his father and he has he's sure he sends then the Holy Ghost who will uh, teach them all things but in this period of Easter Jesus Christ he was amongst the apostles and he gave them such strength that they now really realize that he he is the only God and he is he comes from the Father and he turns back to his Father and he knows everything and there is no one who who has to ask him something because he knows everything and this, the apostle of today's epistle, Saint Jacob, he teaches us, he wants to exhort us that we must be faithful to the prayer life. We must remain in the new life of Jesus Christ. We laid it aside before Easter, on Easter Sunday, when we took off, took on the new life of Jesus Christ with his resurrection. And he wishes nothing else, nothing more, that we remain within him. Because he knows within him we will be able to make plentiful fruits. And he saw that his apostles were fortified and so he can go back to his father. And we see how the apostles changed from the beginning where they were only wavering. They were so fearful and then by the fortifications through our Lord Jesus Christ being amongst them they became eventually strength, strength, strong and they were able to support everything, to suffer everything for Jesus Christ. And this, my dear faithful, also we must do. We must be fortified in Jesus Christ. We must live within Him. And that's the mystical body of Christ. That's the Holy Mother, the Church. We have to use the Holy Sacraments and we have to get all the energy from there and then we will be able to really be united with him and we told us that St. Augustine explained us what is mentioned in today's uh, gospel when he says everything you ask the Father in my name he will give you and St. Augustine explains us that there are certain conditions under which our Lord Jesus Christ and God gives us all the, the requests, that he fulfills the requests of our prayers. And it is, sure you can say, it is, you understand it by itself. God in his absolute goodness he cannot give anything which is opposed to his uh, goodness therefore everything he gives must be for our eternal salvation in contrary everything we ask and what is not for our good for our salvation he cannot give and he does not give and the second condition is, according to St. Augustine, that we have to think 
and belief of Jesus Christ in the way he is. We cannot make a mixture, we cannot say he is just a prophet, he was a good man, he did some good works, and in this understanding I ask him a favor. No, this, this is the thinking of the modernists, of those who, who think that there is salvation without the church, without Jesus Christ. That's not true. And we know, we have to understand who Jesus Christ is. And we know that He is God, that He is the second person of the Holy Trinity. And as such, we must ask Him in our prayers all the favors we want of Him. And if we are always more able to understand who is Jesus Christ, then we will be also more able to understand what ask for. And then we will be very willing to accept the divine providence because we know God does not leave alone those who follow him. As we saw some weeks ago in the in the miracles he did in the desert where the people followed him just because they wanted to be amongst him and didn't care about their uh, temporal uh, necessity and our Lord provided food so they could survive and they got everything and so my dear faithful we want also have this trust that following his uh, teachings and understanding to whom we are talking to when we pray we can be very faithful and very we have we can have a lot of courage that he gives us all the necessities and St. Augustine he also mentions when our Lord says our Father gives you that means in the second person plural uh, all you ask for it means also he is, says explicitly to you in the second person plural and not just he gives meaning that he gives it absolutely in a mode in, in con with certitude to those who ask for, who ask for in the right way, in the right manner, and not necessarily to the others, to friends, to, to enemies, and all the others for whom we are praying for. He does it out of his goodness. But when we pray, when we know to whom we pray, and when we pray in the manner the Holy Mother Church gives us, we can have a certainty, my dear faithful. And this is very important, especially in these days, that we have this hope that if we do it this way Holy Mother Church gives us, if we do it with the understanding who Jesus Christ is really, He always he hears us. He always fulfills our prayer request in as much as it is good for our salvation. And it is, my dear Phil, Phil I want to, to close the, the sermon and I want to wish you to live the new life of Jesus Christ for all times, every day, not just Sundays, not just on days on feast days, but every day, so we can really be united and so we can really expect that Jesus Christ gives us everything we need for our salvation. All the graces necessary we ask by the recession of our Blessed Lady and be trustful that she will give us this. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.